Padawan, your arrival here is well timed. Who are you? I'm Baluk, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Communications does not pose a problem, it's both the suspects and I speak basic and huddies. I was going to handle this case myself, but now that there now that you are here, this could be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you have been learning your lessons at the Academy. Though you're not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from lies. Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. I have brought an, informa inf an information retrieval droid with access to the archives, both at the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve the case for you. There is little benefit if you do not solve this problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information droid. Once you have gathered all the evidence you think you need, run through the possible scenario with me. If you are un unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, I'll take these men to the Enclave and deal with, these, with this myself. <coughs> According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together earlier before the clouds broke. I find that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds, as it was earlier today, but that is not from the most puzzling aspect of the case. The dead man, Callard Nedek, was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. A rifle was found lying near his body with bloodstains on it. It has been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was the Haddon Gale, he was unarmed. The other was Riddick Lazav, who was carrying a hunting laser. Ricard. Anyways, both men say they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both also accused the other. Obviously, there is more to this than what we have been told. There is one last thing. When I arrived, Haddon was holding his side and Ricard was favoring one of his legs. You do well to remember this as we progress through the case. If there is anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay. Not all of them benign. 
The eerie hours are mostly hostile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cat hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 cat bomb attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be there to assist you. Yes, this is something I could do to help you in this investigation. Very well. We should start at the beginning. If we find the truth behind each piece of the puzzle, we will do. We will no doubt resolve the case. Haddon said that he was nearby and heard a shot and ran over, only to find Calder already dead. He said Ricard came out of the shadow of the rocks, holding a blaster in his hands. Ricard said that he was hunting Erazi, saw one through the glare of the sun, and shot at it. It is possible that Ricard may have shot Calder accidentally and Haddon may have found the body, but that seems a very unlikely explanation. It is more likely that at least one of them is lying. Obviously, one of these men is not telling this something, but where does the truth lie? Hmm. I don't know. I should examine the witness stories more closely. Also, you can always speak with the information retrieval trade to ask the data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Talk to this guy one more time. So, what do you want to know? Well, I was out hunting Erie as south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind him, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Hannon standing over the body, holding. He's the lying. There wasn't an Erie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Well, look's got that now. Mine too. I want that back. Right. He's lying, and I will save it just in case I get this wrong. Oops. Save. Yes. Okay, let's uh, talk to this guy again now. <laughs> yes, well done. It was very cloudy this morning. If it had happened, as Rickard said, the sun would not have been visible at the time for the killing. He seemed to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. Seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. The slide doesn't prove Rickard is guilty, but I think you have taken the first step in unraveling this mystery. We should proceed to the next point. We need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the men about their relationship with the victim. If there is anything else you need, I'll remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay. Serious. 
so. Yeah, I knew it. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked this slime ball. Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on it. Especially now that he's dead. You think? This is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. 